there are many moments brought together and associated with a very special notion of earth turning around its uh, middle or more beautifully said seasons which are changing and making us admire the changes in the nature, the changes in our life. Seasons are a big part of this course of time and I would like Lily to tell us about what would you associate with seasons of life or nature or how you would <coughs> I love meeting in this international group because I come to appreciate more and more my own realisations. Our concept of seasons, I come from the Southern Hemisphere, I'm Australian. We've just come to the beginning of autumn here in the Northern Hemisphere. And the Easter cards have got daffodils and rabbits on them. In Australia it was autumn at Easter time and it is summer. So snow-covered pine trees is not quite the way it looks, but the Christmas cards have snow-covered pine trees and koalas with, with winter hats on them. <laughs> we have, in this club, had many people from Central America, from the equatorial area of Africa. Do you think they have seasons? They have wet and dry, or just drought. So the whole concept of seasons, for me, is fascinating because it just shows me, according to our concepts, how open-minded we are. I can't even say how educated or how conscious we are of our fellow human beings, of the people that we share this planet with. Not everybody speaks English. Not everybody has summer and winter. Not everybody has something to eat. So I really appreciate the seasons of my life. I am, as some of us here, a retiree. I really love the fact that I had the 10 years here working in this environment and that my season now of coming back and appreciating and harvesting what I have experienced has come. And I'm very, very grateful for that. <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very interested where you're saying also, uh, I don't know exactly what was the topic of that sentence, but you said to remember to chew on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then Lily, you were using the sentence harvesting what I've been experiencing. It's an interesting way to say it. Also. Please conclude my section. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and now I ask our Toastmaster Arunsh on stage to announce the ballot counter. Please. with, I really learned something, and the fact that you got up and said it just ad hoc was very, very impressive. I also learned the fine balance between acting and speaking and the line of authenticity, which is something that my boss thinks about a lot. And I learned, thank you very much from our evaluator, some really good tips on, evalu on, on evaluating the speech. I would have made the same comments as you, but I don't think I would have done it in as graceful of a way. So it was nice to learn about that. I'd like to come again. Time is a very good question. Um, I neither work out in the gym often enough, <laughs> and I have a similar view of what might happen here. Um, I get my time assigned to me by my boss, so I would